everybody, Lani here. I have missed you. It seems like forever. Um, I just couldn't get the opportunity to record a video for like the past week and a half or so. But finally, I can't. I hope you guys have been doing well. I've been crocheting a lot of reptiles. Um, you know, once I crochet a pattern that I really like, I crochet a bunch of them. <laughs> so, and I mean, little Miss Briella, who just had a birthday last week, she's 11. She had been begging me and begging me to make this gecko pattern, so I did that. But first, I just want to show you real quick. I made a snake. Now, this is the pattern that I've made before. It's by Sin Toys, and I will link that down below. Uh, I just went down to a 3.75 hook, and I used Premier Yarns in deep water for this. And then the eyes just are black cotton, just kind of, they kind of blend in. But I do like how it turned out. I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I just felt like making something quick and finishing something. So I made a little snake. I'll probably make some more of these. I will, I should make some. I have this one yarn I'll show you in a few minutes that I'll make some more snakes out of probably. So the pattern that I made a bunch of is this Leopard Gecko, it is by Complicated Knots, and I will link that down below. I followed the YouTube tutorial, but I believe it's also available in her Etsy shop. And look how cute this is. Now this is Briella's, like, she loves this guy. This looks like her real life um, Leopard Gecko named Dragon. white is a scrap ball of white yarn that's it's not a wet red heart it's kind of like a and it's not a Karen simply soft it's I don't know what it is I think I got it at a thrift store but it's it's pretty soft the eyes are um, 18 millimeter eyes in this one now I did change the pattern for the feet these are not the legs or feet that complicated knots does this is my own pattern that I kind of just made up mine are made from the top down her pattern you make the toes first and then work your way up and I just couldn't get it to look right now this is this is the third one I made because the first two well the first one was a total fail and the second one is a total derp but I just wanted you to see what it's supposed to look like and how cute it is okay and then I will so now I'll show you the mistake so this is the first one that I made and it is not finished, obviously, because I really messed up. I used a 3.75 cook, I used a 3.75 for all of them that I made. And then this yarn is Bernat Super Value, I think Sunrise or something is yellow. But the tail is crooked. The tail is on there crooked. Like here's this, the back and like the belly turned out okay. But the tail, like this bump, is supposed to be on the bottom. <laughs> so I think it was my tension, maybe. I don't know. My tension in my yarn, perhaps. It's just the stitches got put in the wrong spot as I was making it. You start at the nose and you work your way. Um, it's 18 millimeter eyes for this one. There is face shaping, but I didn't do that for this one. You can, you can tell the face shaping. You sew the jaw down and then you like squish on either side and you sew the eyeballs down some so but this <laughs> I didn't even bother trying to make the legs for it as soon as it didn't turn out I'm like looks like a funky little worm so I made a second attempt this was a Briella request she has a bunch of I they might be called morphs or something I don't know she wanted to be in this video but she'll be in it later <laughs> um Look, the different colors of geckos and she wanted one that was pale yellow with a white underbody and a white tail and I don't 
know what kind it's called, but um, this is kind of derp. The head is a little crooked. At least the tail is better. The bump is where it's supposed to be. And this is the one where I came up with my own pattern on the legs because I couldn't get those other ones to work. Now she did not want her legs stuffed. So these are not stuffed and they do move a little bit articulated, but they're not really, I didn't like make them articulated. It's just how they got sewn on. I mean, this one's better than this one. So this is number two, which explains why it's so droopy. And then this is number three, which is cute. There's three more. There's three more on the table that I need to show you. So when we were at Walmart, we all, like I look at the yarn and Brielle always saw this yarn. Oh my goodness. The neon Red Heart Super Saver in Bright Stripe, which believe it or not, it's even more neon-y in person. <laughs> so she always wanted me to buy this. I'm like, I'm not buying that. It hurts my eyes. Well, I bought it because it would make a great gecko. And this is the second skein that I bought of it. So... Yeah, we've got some really, really neon geckos. Briella's favorite color is neon green. So this is made out of that red heart, bright stripes. Um, I did color control it some so that the, the feet were the same except for this one. He's got a little red foot. But um, I wanted the color to be the same at the top where you sew on the legs so it wouldn't look funky. This one has 18 millimeter safety eyes also. We have this one. This is the same. Bright Stripes Red Heart yarn. Um, I just used all of the oranges and the hot pinks and the there's the legs don't match like this is orange and this is yellow where you sew them on so I from now on will make sure that I color control to make sure when I'm sewing the things on that you know if the leg is yellow that the body will be yellow right there because it's really hard to hide your <laughs> stitches. But this one is cute. The black yarn that I used for its spots is this Vanna's Glamour, which I got at, I got a Goodwill for $1.99. It's a very thin yarn and it's a little bit stretchy, but it has a sparkle in it. And I thought that would be really cute because Briella told me that they need spots so that they look like lovely geckos. And then I made one more. So I made this one and I just let the yarn do its thing for the color. And when it got to the feet, I made sure I started with the orange. I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to see. Just so, again, when you sew it on, you can hide your stitches. It's got red, red little paws. Tip of the tail is purple, hot pink tail. This one has no spots because Briella said this one looked better with no spots. So, okay, no spots on this one. These are 20 millimeter eyes. I did go up one size for the eyes. So, I mean... <laughs> Five geckos. These ones are all the complete ones. And I'm not gonna do anything with that very first one that has no legs, but I did start a sixth one. This is neon stripe and it's got a lot of the black in it. And I did start a gecko face. This is the nose right here. And then I had to cut the yarn from the other end because um, I think I need to do black for the eyes because you crochet around the eyes and then you stick the eyes on. <laughs> so there'll be another one coming whenever I feel like making another one. I'm kind of tired of making geckos right now. These yarns are very, very bright. They are fun to work with. And I think I'm gonna make a snake out of this yarn. Wouldn't that be cute? So I'll probably make a snake out of this before I'll finish this. I'll just use the other end of it, I guess, because this is connected. Oh good, this is connected on the outside or is it connected in the middle? Oh. This is connected in the middle. Maybe I should finish the gecko. I don't know. We'll see. Another project Briella has been begging me to make are axolotls. Now I did, I made one axolotl. This is a free tutorial on YouTube. It's by Fancy Llama. And this is what mine looks like. I use the Dollar Tree Premier Yarn and what is this hot pink? Flamingo and Flamingo. And then the yellow is also the Dollar Tree Yarn. Um, I forget what that one's called. I just had a scrap ball of that. So. I made this. It's okay, but Briella doesn't really like it because it's not anatomically correct for an axolotl. Because I guess the fins on an axolotl, they go like this, like along the back. They do not do, they don't have these side fins. And that's one thing with her. If I make any type of animal, it needs to be 
how the animal really is. I think he's cute. If I didn't know any better, if I didn't know what real axolotls look like, I would just totally be happy with this, but <laughs> probably not gonna make another one of these. Um, now, there is a pattern on Etsy, and I don't remember what it is, that Briella saw that she really liked because it looks like a real axolotl. So when I do get that pattern eventually, I will show you guys <laughs> more axolotls. Um, I guess this is, is this a reptile? Aquatic? Amphibian? Maybe? If you hear crunching, that would be our mammal. Our cat is Bolt. She's eating her crunchy food right now. It's always something. Oh, are you done, Bolt? She's done. I do have one more amigurumi uh, that I made that does fit into the reptile category, and that is this dinosaur. This is the Eliosaurus, and this is a pattern by Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. Hi, Elaine. Um, I did a pattern test for this, and I just, I love the spikes. They're so, just so cute. The colors I used are the colors that I could match the best that were in the original pattern. Um, when I make this one again, I'll probably be <laughs> maybe a pink or maybe a purple one. I don't know, but I love the toes too. So cute. So I will link Elaine's channel down below. And yeah, I've, I've made quite a few reptiles. And I also have made a couple of mammals, but those will be for my next video probably. Um, wait till you see how cute. Oh my goodness, one is so cute. So since I was talking about geckos in this video, Briella said she wanted to be in the video. So I'm gonna go see if she actually really does. She's up in her room playing and she's like, everyone's leaving me alone right now. That's why I can't make a video. It's getting cloudy too. We're supposed to get some thunderstorms and I do have some clothes outside that I will need to bring in. But someone's mowing their lawn right now. It's supposed to rain like any minute. Anyways, let me see. Briella wants to be on here. Okay, so while the neighbor is mowing the lawn when it's about to rain, and while Briella is gonna get dressed because she's not ready for the day, and she doesn't wanna talk about the geckos, I am going to make myself a cup of coffee and I will see you guys in just a few minutes. What should we call this? Now we have a bonus time with Briella, who is our resident expert on leopard geckos and um, axolotls and snakes and all. So, what kind of gecko was that? I just thought it was a leopard gecko. What is it? Well, it's a leopard gecko, but it's a Max Snow leopard gecko. It Max looks just like mine. Snow. Max Snow leopard gecko. It was so cute. She had her, her purse on, like crossbody, and it was tucked in. <laughs> and we went to the pet store, and we were walking out and about, and people were like looking at the gecko. Oh, my goodness, it was cute. But anyways, so what is that one? I don't know. It's some sort of patternless leopard gecko. Like I know there's Murphy's patternless, and they're like a little bit darker of a yellow. So that one is not supposed to have spots. No. Okay. And then we have neon. We, we find neon geckos out in nature. No. <laughs> neon, because you loved this yarn at Walmart. Yes, I like, did. Neon green's my favorite color. Every time we went, there goes a dirt bike. What a cool dude. Anyway, yeah. Neon. Is this just a uh, made up leopard gecko with spots out of neon yeah. colors? There's no such thing as this either. Okay. And then, <laughs> then there's this. <laughs> if you then get there's spots this. in a white ah. tail, then I guess it would look like a traditional leopard I gecko. I can't finish this thing. It's too like twisted and whooped and. But I'm not going to rip this out because I do look at this and I use it when I'm making the ones that look decent because I can tell if my stitches are getting off in the wrong spot because it's made with two different stitches and yeah. So let's talk, let's talk axolotl. Is this the perfect axolotl? Look at her face. It's not. Isn't it cute though? I think it's cute. It's cute, but it's not. What's wrong with it? These. It's meant geckos. to be on its back, like like all that. the way from the head. Well, like like from the neck, but it's meant to be like from like the back or something to the tail, and not on the sides like a toothless or light fury or something. <gasps> you could just make a light fury <laughs> or a toothless, totally. Uh, uh axolotl dragon. The should be longer, but it's longer. 
cartoony one. It's cute. If you give it like dark pink frills, it could be a lucistic type. Mm, oh my goodness. Like a little bit lighter of a color. I have no idea the types of axolotls. She was trying to tell me and they're like... I got the albino one, that's about the only one I understand. <laughs> <laughs> the albino one. Our last little reptile that she wants me to do something different with. What do you want me to do with this guy? I want you to make it a hognose snake. So hognoses are the cutest little brown like spotted snakes in their can and then they have like a little hognose. Like a little shovel nose. A little shovel nose. And it's just like up like that. So I need to make a hognose. Uh, you know what? We have a picture of a hognose snake in your stuff. Oh yeah. There's a hognose. It's so cute. cute. The the little. I mean, yes, it's cute as far as snakes go. The reason you don't like snakes, like you're just one of those people that don't like snakes. The only reason I don't have a snake is because I eat mice. That's not the only reason. The other reason is because I said no. We are not. We already have. We have four cats, two geckos, a bunny, and I really want a betta fish. We'll see. I really so, want I an axolotl. I know I do. Some people think axolotls are creepy, but they're, they're just the cutest little... Creepy cute. Like, real axolotls are creepy cute. Um, so, the neighbor is still mowing his lawn and it's about to rain. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you are having a good day, and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye! <gasps> Were we recording?!